What is going on guys? It is Constable Chang coming back at you with another Madden 17 video. Today we are doing a request rebuild. Sony Garcia a while ago, he said build an old rookie team. So that exactly what we are doing today. Instead of just like making a franchise and then try to trade for all the best rookies, I did it outside franchise mode and just put all the rookies on one team. So I just chose the LA Rams and put all the best rookies on this team. I made a coach. My head coach name is Jack Goff. He's uh, Jared Goff's dad, Jack Goff. So I'll show you guys the team real quick. I will go through the rosters instead of just that depth chart view. Quarterbacks, I chose Carson Wentz, Dak Prescott, and Jared Goff. Uh, if I had a, another fourth quarterback, it would probably be uh, Paxton Lynch, but he just didn't make the cut. Running backs, we have Ezekiel Elliott, Derrick Henry, and Devontae Booker. I'm not sure who the third best uh, rookie running back would be. Um, I think Devontae Booker is the best. I don't know if you guys think there's a better third running back. You guys let me know in the comments. Derek Watt I picked uh, as my rookie fullback. Receivers, we have Will Fuller the third, Sterling Shepard, Corey Coleman, Josh Doxson, Tajay Sharp, and Braxton Miller. Tight ends, Hunter Henry, and then it kind of drops off after that. It goes to Austin Hooper. I think he plays for the Falcons. And Nick Vanett. Left tackle, we have Ronnie Stanley and Cl Raven Clark. Left guard, we have uh, Laramie Tunsil and Joshua Garnett. Center, we have Ryan Kelly from the Colts and Cody Whitehair from the Bears. Right guard, we have uh, Taylor Decker. He plays left tackle, but... I really don't need another tackle, so I just move him to guard while he, where he will play. So he's 77 overall there. And uh, Jermaine Ifedi, I think he plays for the Seahawks. Right tackle, we have Jack Conklin and Sean Coleman. Coleman plays for the Cleveland Browns. Left end, we have Joey Bosa and DeForest Buckner. Right end, we have Emmanuel Ogba and Shaq Lawson. Defensive tackle, Sheldon Rankins, Robert Kimdichi, Chris Jones, and Ashawn Robinson. Left to side linebackers, we have Deion Jones and Leonard Floyd. Middle linebacker, we have Jalen Smith, Sue Cravens, and Reggie Ragland. Right side linebacker, Miles Jack and Deron Lee. Cornerbacks, we have Jalen Ramsey, Vernon Hargraves, Eli Apple, Mackenzie Alexander, Artie Burns, and William Jackson. Free safety, Carl Joseph and Vaughn Bell. Strong safety, we have Keanu Neal and TJ Green. Kicker is Robert Aguero, and punter is Drew Kaiser from Texas A&M. I think he plays for the, the San Diego Chargers. So I'm going to be starting Wentz over Prescott and Jared Goff. I think they all actually have normal development. I'm not sure if the roster update made them... Uh, I thought Goff used to have like a superstar or quick, but he's he's a normal. But you know he's not even playing in the in the NFL right now. So, we'll we'll start Wentz. It's going to be interesting who wins Rookie of the Year. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if the list is going to just consist of all my guys, but there are still some rookies on other teams that will probably get some uh, significant playing time. So I'm also playing with salary cap off because I'm not worried about salary cap. That's not the point of this rebuild. It's rebuilds just to start these rookies. So I'm probably not even go to the midseason mark. I'll go right to the playoffs each year, and that's where we are headed right now. So I will see you guys there. After year one, we didn't make the playoffs. So let's take a look at our record. Then we'll take a look at, at some awards. So our record was four and twelve on the year. So. You know, the older veteran players, looks like, got the best of this rookie team. So we'll take a look at some stats here. Carson Wentz, not too good, actually. Uh, 3,888 yards, 20 touchdowns, 21 picks. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott, 1,197 yards, 12 touchdowns. Derrick Henry had 155 and 5 touchdowns. Receiving, uh, Will Fuller, 84 catches, 1,113 yards and 4 touchdowns. Corey Coleman, 76 catches, 702 and 2 touchdowns. Sterling Shepard, 61 catches, 882, and 7 touchdowns. Defense, Jalen Smith led the way with 146 tackles. Tackles for loss was Sheldon Rankins with 7. Quarterback sacks was Sheldon Rankins with 10. Robert Kandichi with 7.5. Emmanuel Ogba, 7. And DeForest Buckner with 5.5. Interceptions was Jalen Smith with 4. And taking a look at some awards, Aaron Rodgers is the league MVP no question about that I don't think we should have anyone on this list no coach of the year was Dan Quinn 
from the Atlanta Falcons. So NFC um, Offensive Player of the Year, Aaron Rodgers. Defensive Player was Bobby Wagner. Did we have any guys? Probably not. Offensive Rookie, Ezekiel Elliott, Carson Wentz, Sterling Shepard, who else is there? Will Fuller, Hunter Henry, Corey Coleman, Derek Henry. So we had quite a bit of offensive rookies. Defensive side of the ball, Jalen Smith won that. Miles Jack was second. Sheldon Rankins third. Vernon Hargraves fourth. Emmanuel Ogba, Kandichi, DeForest Buckner, Keanu Neal. Best quarterback was Aaron Rodgers. Best running back was Eddie Lacy. Did... Ezekiel Elliott was number 10. Best wide receiver was Jordy Nelson. None of our guys were there. Best O-line, Zach Martin. Best D-line, Ezekiel Anza. Did, uh, no, he didn't make it. Best linebacker, Bobby Wagner. Best defensive back, Josh Norman. And best kicker, Steven Hauschka. So kind of disappointing year one, but, you know, they're rookies. They need to develop, and we got to give them a chance to develop. So some XP, I'm sure Ezekiel Elliott's got 43K. Wentz only has almost 6,000, so that's not too good. I might start someone else at quarterback, but I'm not sure. And Jalen Smith went off a defensive rookie of the year in the NFC, so he's got 33,000 XP. So I'll spend this player XP. Uh, as for offseason goes, I'm not going to be picking up free agents. I'm not going to be... Well, I guess I'll have to do the draft, but those players are probably just make my practice roster because I just want to keep this team intact for like three or four years until we start winning Super Bowls. So uh, I'll spend this player XP and then we will pick it up in year two. So heading into year two with this all-rookie team, on offense, the only person that really went up was Ezekiel Elliott. What is he, an 88 now? So he went up from an 81 to an 88. Wentz didn't go up at all. Will Fuller went up, I think, to, I think, what was he before, 78. So now he's an 81. Corey Coleman went from a 78 to an 80. Hunter Henry, was uh, same thing, 78 to an 80. On offense, uh, Ronnie Stanley went from a 80 to an 81, I believe. I'm not too sure. But players that didn't have at least 10,000 XP, I didn't spend. So I'm just going to stockpile like two years worth for like these uh, other O-linemen and stuff. On defense, I only upgraded Sheldon Rankins and Kandichi on the D-line. So Rankins is an 85 and Kandichi is an 81 now. Linebacking core, Jalen Smith's an 84. Miles Jack is an 81. I didn't upgrade the safeties yet. And I think I only upgraded Jalen's, Jalen Ramsey, who is an 87. And I upgraded my punter, uh, Drew Kaiser. He went from a 71 to a 76 after one year of play. So these other players, I'm just going to stockpile some XP. So hopefully they get some good chunk for after this year. So I'm going to sim away again. Sim this year. Hopefully our record's a bit better. Some players uh, are starting to go up in overall, which is good. So hopefully some more players get some good chunks of XP uh, for winning awards and stuff, and uh, we could start uh, progressing a little bit better. So we will see you guys in the playoffs again. Okay, so year two looks like we missed the playoffs again. Let's take a look at our record. It was 7-8-1, and one, so we are getting a little bit better. Last year we were 4-12, and 12. so hopefully next year we could finally make the playoffs with this team. So uh, Carson Wentz, 4,157 yards, 29 touchdowns, 26 picks. It seems like he always throws a lot of interceptions. I'm not sure what's up with that. But uh, rushing, Ezekiel Elliott, 1,314 1, yards, 9 touchdowns. Derrick Henry, 209 rushing yards and 3 touchdowns. Receiving, Corey Coleman, 82 catches, 9, 947 yards, 2 touchdowns. Will Fuller, 1,049 yards and 10 touchdowns. Sterling Shepard, 1,014 yards and 10 touchdowns. Hunter Henry, 637 and 2 touchdowns. On defense, we have Jalen Smith leading in tackles again with 135. Tackles for loss with Sheldon Rankins with 13. Quarterback sacks was DeForest Buckner with 17, Joey Bosa with 14, Robert Kandichi with 6.5, and, and Sheldon Rankins with 6. Interceptions was Jalen Ramsey leading the way with 4 interceptions. Aaron Rodgers won MVP again. Coach of the year was Mike Zimmer from the Minnesota Vikings. And in the NFC, Aaron Rodgers, Offensive Player of the Year. Don't think we'll have any Rams on the list. Defensive Player of the Year, Bobby Wagner. DeForest Buckner finished 6th, and Jalen Smith was 8th on the list. Offensive rookie, 
uh, we wouldn't have any of rookies. Uh, best quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Best running back, Todd Gurley. Um, I traded uh, Todd Gurley to the Cowboys for Ezekiel Elliott. So things are working out there for him. Ezekiel Elliott finished fifth on the list. Best wide receiver, Julio Jones. Best O-line, Zach Martin. Best D-line, Olivier Vernon. Buckner was third on the list. Joey Bosa was fourth. Best linebacker, Sean Lee. Jalen Smith was fourth. Best defensive back, Josh Norman. And we didn't have any guys there. Best kicker was Graham Gano. And Aguero didn't make the list. So that's another year under the belt. I stockpiled some XP from last year and this year for some players, so we'll take a look here on who's got what, if it could load any time today. So my line still doesn't really have that much. Hunter Henry's got 10,000. Wentz has 13,000. Ezekiel Elliott almost 22,000 on defense. Joey Bosa's got 30,000, and Buckner's got 36,000, so that's going to be good to spend. Jalen Smith, 21,000. So I'm going to spend this player XP, and we'll probably just pick it up um, in year three because I really have nothing else to do. And we will see you guys there. So we are now in year three. I spent some player XP. This is what the offense is looking like heading into this season. Wentz went from an 80 to an 82. Ezekiel Elliott from an 88 to a 90. Receivers are slowly getting a bit better. Coleman and Will Fuller are both 83. Sterling Shepard's an 81. Ronnie Stanley, 83, Tunsil, 79, uh, Ryan Kelly, 81, Taylor Decker, 79, and Jack Conklin is an 80. Hunter Henry is an 84. Defense looks a, a bit better. DeForest Buckner, 85, Kandichi, 83, Rankin's 85, and Joey Bosa is an 85. So good D-line. Linebackers are still pretty good. Jalen Smith, 88, uh, Deion Jones, 81, and Miles Jackson, 83. Keanu Neal's an 83, same with Carl Joseph. Jalen Ramsey, 89. Vernon Hargraves, 79, and Eli Apple is a 79 as well. Uh, Robert Aguero is a 78, and Drew Kaiser is an 80. So the team's slowly getting better. We we need uh, you know a couple of my players to start winning awards and getting more XP. And and as for playoffs, the Seahawks are definitely the tops in our division. But Carson Palmer retired, so I think we'll replace. Uh, the Cardinals at the number two spot and the 49ers and the Cardinals will be the bottom feeders because they both kind of suck now. So we're going to sim ahead to the playoffs and we'll see if we make it. In the playoffs in year three, we made the wild card at 11 and 5. We played the 12 and 4 Atlanta Falcons. So we will jump into that game in just a second. So, like I said, we took over the Cardinals spot as the second best in the NFC West. The. Seahawks are still the class of that division because they are a powerhouse. So let's take a look at some stats here. Carson Wentz, this is his best year yet. 4,421 yards, 36 touchdowns to 18 interceptions. Rushing Ezekiel Elliott, 1,607 yards, 18 touchdowns. Derrick Henry, 296 and 10 touchdowns. Receiving Corey Coleman, 1,263 yards and 5 touchdowns. Will Fuller, 720 yards and 3 touchdowns. Sterling Shepard, 1,023 yards and 12 touchdowns. And Hunter Henry, 706 yards and 6 touchdowns. Defensive side, we have Jalen Smith leading again in tackles with 126. Tackles for loss was Sheldon Rankins with 12. Quarterback sacks was DeForest Buckner with 18. Sheldon Rankins with 14 and a half. Joey Bosa 11 and a half. And Robert Kandichi with seven and a half. And interceptions was Miles Jack with three. Jalen Ramsey with three. And Vernon Hargraves with also three. MVP of the league was Le'Veon Bell. Aaron Rodgers almost won it three times in a row. Ezekiel Elliott finished fourth on the list, so that's pretty sweet. Coach of the year was Dan Quinn from the Falcons again. In the NFC, it is Ezekiel Elliott, Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive player was Bobby Wagner. DeForest Buckner was third on the list, and Jalen Smith was sixth. Rookies, we don't have to worry about that. Best quarterback was Aaron Rodgers. Wentz finished third. Best running back, Ezekiel Elliott. Best wide receiver, Des Bryant. Sterling Shepard was sixth on the list. Best O-line was Zach Martin. I don't think we'll have any on the list. Best D-line, Olivier Vernon. Buckner and Rankins were two and three on the list. Best linebacker was Luke Keekley and Rams or Smith, Jalen Smith was 10th on the list. Best defensive back was Demarius Randall, and I don't think I'll have anyone there. Best kicker was Steven Hauschka again, 
and Robert Aguero was 10th on the list. So I'm going to spend this player XP, and then I'll show you guys who went up in overall, and then we'll jump into this playoff game. So spending player XP, the team's starting to look a bit better. Carson Wentz an 84, Dak Prescott is an 80, Ezekiel Elliott's a 93, Coleman 83, Doxon 80, Sterling Shepard 85, Will Fuller 83, Hunter Henry's an 86. Basically everyone on the O-line, all my starters are 81, except Ronnie Stanley who's an 83. Defensively, DeForest Buckner 91, Kim Dietschy, 83, Sheldon Rankins 90, Joey Bosa 87. Uh, Jalen Smith's a 91, and Deion Jones, 83, Miles Jack, 84, Neil is a 85, Carl Joseph, 85, Jalen Ramsey, 93, Vernon Hargraves and Eli Apple, 81, uh, Alexander's a 76, Robert Aguero, my kicker's an 80, and Kaiser, my punter's an 83. So we're slowly getting better. We play in the playoffs in year three. We play the 12-4 and four Atlanta Falcons. I'm sure it'll be a tough game. So I'm going to jump into this game, and we'll see you guys in the game. In the second half of play, it looks like we're losing 17-16. Uh, looks like we had a field goal. Looks like it's going to be a close game. And we might actually... Oh, no. I might have spoke too soon. And we lost by a field goal. 25-22 is your final. And we end year three in the playoffs. But I think we'll go fur further in year four. So that's where we're headed now. And we will see you guys at the start of year four. So we are in year four with this old rookie team. We started off four and twelve in year one, and then seven, eight, and one in year two. And last year we were eleven and five and made the playoffs, but lost in the wild card round. So hopefully this year we'll make the playoffs again and go further into the playoffs. So that's the goal heading into this year. And I am going to sim ahead to the playoffs, and we will catch up with you guys there. So we are in the playoffs in year four. Unfortunately, it looks like we didn't make it. So our record was seven, eight, and one. So it looks like we took a step back from last year. So we'll take a look at some stats here. Carson Wentz, 4,116 yards, 27 touchdowns, nine interceptions. Rushing, Ezekiel Elliott, 1,422 yards and 14 touchdowns. Receiving, Will Fuller, 953 and 5 touchdowns. Sterling Shepard, 1,038 yards, 7 touchdowns. Corey Coleman, 1,017 yards and 7 touchdowns. Defense, Miles Jack led the way with 133 tackles. Actually, it was tied with Jalen Smith. Tackles for loss was Sheldon Rankins with 11. Quarterback sacks, Joey Bosa, 14. DeForest Buckner with 10. And interceptions was... Jalen Ramsey with 5. So this is the end of year 4. I'm probably only, only going to do one more year we'll do five years and you know i'm not going to keep going until we win the super bowl you know if this experiment doesn't work then it doesn't work so we'll do one more year uh so we'll jump into this off season and we will catch up with you guys next year so here we are in year five i spent player xp and we are ready to go so this is what the team's going to look like carson wentz is an 85 ezekiel elliott 93 Hunter Henry's an 88, Sterling Shepard 85, O-line still really not too good. On the defensive side, Joey Bosa 89, Kimdichie 85, Rankins 90, and DeForest Buckner is 89, so very good defensive line. Jalen Smith 93, Miles Jack 86, Carl Joseph 87, and Niels an 87, and Jalen Ramsey is a 93. So the team's actually pretty good. Hopefully I could actually make the playoffs again. Last year we missed out, and... But we'll have to find out. So I'm going to sim ahead again right to the playoffs and we'll see you guys there. So at the end of year 5, we back on track and made the playoffs again. We in the wild card. 11-5 was our record. We 9-7 and seven in Minnesota. I did spend player XP already. So this is what we are looking at into the playoffs. Carson Wentz is an 87. Here Elliott, 95. Shepard, Coleman, and Will Fuller, all overall wide receivers. Uh, Derek Watt, 70 fullback. Uh, Hunter Henry is 90 overall tight end. Jack Conklin, 83, Decker, 84, K82, Tunsil, 82, and Slay, 85. So offense is actually pretty good. Defensively, Joey Bosa, 89, Kim Dietschy, 85, Rickens, 90, Buckner, 89, Miles Jack, 86, Jalen Smith, 93, Jones, 84, Niels, an 87, Joseph, 88, Jalen Ramsey is a 97, Vernon Harvard, 81, Eli Apple, 83, and Alexander is 78. Special teams, Robert Aguero, 82, and Dukaiser is an 85 overall punter. So the team's actually pretty good. I think I could have done better if like my quarterbacks progressed better. But I went out, um, 
decided to start Con Carson Wentz. I'm not sure if that was the right decision or not. But he was the best overall to start, so I just went him. But he really didn't progress too good after you know five regular seasons. So he only went seven overall in the in that. And so a little disappointed with that. He could have done better, maybe starting somewhere else. But maybe next time I'll do the end. But for in the playoffs, we do have a pretty good shot of going deep in the playoffs because our team's actually pretty decent. So let's jump into this game with the Vikings, and we will see how we do. In this wild card game, we are matching up against the Minnesota Vikings. We are in the third quarter with the lead, and looks like we will probably hang on to it. Hopefully, I didn't sit. And the final score is 32 to 10, and we're heading on to the divisional round. In this divisional game, we play the 11 and 5 Chicago Bears, who are rated 84 overall compared to our 90 overall LA Ram team. Looks like we have the lead heading into halftime. In the second half, Chicago goes, gets a score. We get a field goal. In the fourth quarter, I get a, another field goal, looks like. And this game is going to come to a end. And we are actually moving on to the conference in year five with the LA Rams. In the conference game, we play the 10 and 6 Philadelphia Eagles, who are 83 overall compared to our 90 overall. The winner of this will move on to the Super Bowl against the Tennessee Titans or the Pittsburgh Steelers, and looks like it's a very close game. Carson Wentz is playing the team that drafted him. Uh, first round, second overall this year of North Dakota State, and looks like I tie it up. And they on the clock out and get a field goal, and I lose in the conference, and the Eagles will move on to the Super Bowl. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this whole rookie league with the LA Rams. I started off 4 and 12 and then I went 7 and 8 7 8 and 1, 11 and 5, 7 8 and 1 again and then 11 and 5 again. And we just lost in the conference. So we were that close to making the Super Bowl with these rookies from year one but you know what could he do i hope you guys enjoyed thanks again sony garcia for the request to do an old rookie team i really like that idea i might come back to this idea and maybe start someone else at quarterback because you know Wentz didn't really develop uh, as nicely as i would have liked so thanks for watching guys leave a like comment subscribe i really would appreciate it and we will see you in the next video thanks for watching